Welcome everyone to Good Stories Mobile Market Update. Tony was actually coming to buy some groceries. Never been to the Whole Foods. I had to see what it was all about. <laughs> Tony McNeil, the one and only. Here I am. Yeah, no, it's, it's me for sure. Um, so I get distracted by all these uh, parking spaces. Um, <clears throat> August 2024. In terms of sales, at 1,100 sales for the entire month, it's not a it's not a huge number, right? No, I think it's like you know if you look at it year over year month over month like it's still that kind of steady trend i think it's a really regular year for ottawa real estate we got to get past this um kind of comparing ourselves to record years that we saw because it's just not a, it's just not an accurate representation of what we see day to day it's just been a very kind of steady summer I, 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 there's yep. no way other way for me to describe it a very late yeah. spring um as soon as that second rate reduction happened uh, what was it, July? Was it July? Yeah, it was I think it was July. July. Yeah, so June, July, uh, I think that second one really, really kind of gave that extra confidence uh, to buyers. I think we started seeing a little bit more activity. So I think we're having a little bit of a delay in that sense, but nothing crazy though. Slightly higher than the 10-year average, you know, 7% higher. But if you look at the record years that Tony was talking about, you know, we're 26% less than, than the five-year average. So. Um, so a little bit more steady, I guess, yeah. For the right property, you know, you might have to still compete for it. Like, I do believe that if a property shows well, is priced well, the market reacts um, and, and it knows that it can recognize that. There's a ton of opportunity now, what I see going into September. We just saw another rate decrease last week. Do we see all the limited number of inventory we have get sucked up pretty quick? It's a possibility. If people are feeling confident, sellers are kind of seeing that, like, okay, the rates are still coming down. Maybe now is the right time to list. Um, you know, if we don't, if we don't see that, I, I think you could see our three months of inventory get absorbed pretty darn quick. Do you want me to drive? I was gonna touch. Uh, <laughs> uh, there's a lot of uh, posts here. There's only three months of inventory, and the reality of that's that's technically a, a seller's market yeah, territory, right? Yeah, absolutely. Right. Uh, once you hit four, from four to six, that's a balanced uh, market. Although I do suspect, I mean, I, I was talking to one of our colleagues, and they're actually looking at you know they, they have like 10 listings in the pipeline and and he's not alone there's a few other agents that i've spoken to uh, in similar situations you know with a lot of listings coming up so i think it's going to be healthy you know even if buyers do react to the decrease i think we're going to still i think we're going to see inventory pop up you know a lot of sellers that were kind of on the fence for the last year yeah, and a sure, half sure they're going to gain a bit more confidence in their pricing as well and they're going to come on market so I think it's going to be a very balanced uh, fall market. Bring on more inventory. I'm excited for that. I think you know choice is always great. I mean, buyers will have a really uh, kind of reassured sense, sense of optimism going into the fall, especially if we see more rate decreases, which is a huge potential.